It's finally here. After six long months in development, Ubuntu 11.10 has been released and is ready for you to download and install on your computer. Hit the Ubuntu button at the top of the launcher to reveal the dash. From here, you can browse through your installed applications by searching or by using the new filtering options available in Ubuntu 11.10. You can also see applications available to install via the Ubuntu Software Center at the bottom of the dash. Use the star ratings to filter these. The file lens makes finding your files, folders and documents relatively pain-free. You can use the filtering options for more specific searches. A new music lens lets you search through music you have and music that's available to buy via the Ubuntu One Music Store. The Ubuntu Software Center makes finding and installing new applications very, very easy. You can see what an application looks like, as well as read reviews from other users. No one likes a cluttered desktop, and in Ubuntu 11.10 there are new and improved features for managing Windows and applications. The workspace switcher is particularly slick. One change worth mentioning is that window controls for maximised windows are now hidden by default. Just mouse your cursor over the top panel to reveal them. Switching between open apps is made much easier with the new look Alt Tab Switcher. Press the down key to preview a window to see whether it's the one you want. Amongst the application changes in Ubuntu 11.10 comes a revamped version of Ubuntu's default social client, Gwiba. Now using less resources and sporting some very slick animations, you can update Twitter and Facebook with ease. Also worth mentioning that Ubuntu 11.10 sports a new, sleek login screen. Powered by LightDM, this is lighter, sleeker, and let's be honest, far sexier.